We're men, we're men in tights. Hi everybody, it's Glitch Kitten here with another movie review for the Source Fed Movie Club. This week we are tasked with watching the 1993 Mel Brooks parody, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Now I could not be happier that we are actually tasked with watching this movie as it's one of my favorites. I've loved it since I was a kid and I still love it to this day. Mel Brooks is best known for his comedy works uh, such as Spaceballs, Young Frankenstein, The Producers, uh, Blazing Saddles, and History of the World Part 1. Robin Hood Men in Tights is no different. It has the, all of the same raunchy humor, uh, running gags, and breaking of the fourth wall that other Mel Brooks films has. This movie stars Carrie Elwes as Robin Hood, Amy Yazbeck as Maid Marian, Mark Blankfield as Blinken, Dave Chappelle as Achu, Richard Lewis as John of England, Tracy Ullman as the Witch Latrine, and Patrick Stewart as King Richard. Honorable mention goes to Mel Brooks appearing in his own film as he usually does. This one was uh, Friar Tuckman, uh, <laughs> Moyle extraordinaire. Now it parodies the story of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Uh, it parodies it so well. It even pulls in some from the Disney's Robin Hood with the archery contest. It follows the story of Robin Hood coming back from being jailed in Jerusalem. Uh, he comes back to England to find his property being taken away from him, as well as learning that his entire family has been killed, including his fish and his cat. He then goes on to meet the Sheriff of Rottingham, played by Roger Reese. And the Sheriff of Rottingham has a speech impediment, which is actually wonderfully done. <laughs> Robin Hood finds out that Prince John and Sheriff of Rottingham have been oppressing the people of England, and he is charged on a quest to make everything right again. Of course, as usual, there is the underlying love story between Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Now, the beauty of this Mel Brooks film is that he parodies the story so well, uh, he just wants to of course, bring to the fact that there are a bunch of men running around in the woods in tights. So in the end, Robin Hood and his band of merry men do defeat the sheriff as well as Prince John. Uh, Richard comes back from the Crusades, uh, played by Patrick Stewart, uh, comes back from the Crusades and everything is right in the world again. Now, I absolutely love this movie. I've loved it since I was a child and it has not changed to this day. Mel Brooks films are known for their quips and one-liners, slapstick humor, raunchy humor, uh, of course, parodies coming out the wazoo, tons of literal jokes and running gags, and of course, breaking of the fourth wall, which is one of my favorite things for films to do. Now, I've been a fan of Mel Brooks films since I was very, very young. Uh, I know that they're not for the young audiences. However, it uh, helped me develop the humor that I have to this day. Some of my favorite scenes uh, do actually include the banquet scene when he comes walking in with the boar and in one fell swoop, takes it from his shoulder, slams it on the table and goes into the heroic Robin Hood pose. The whole running gag of Blinken's character, uh, especially when he's up in the watchtower guessing He's guessing that no one's coming. The shadow puppet scene while the sheriff and Robin are actually sword fighting. Uh, it's just something that you wouldn't even expect coming out of there. One thing that I noticed about this movie is that Robin Hood has the biggest smile on his face whenever he is sword fighting. There are tons of breaking of the fourth wall in this movie from the camera crashing through Maid Marian's bathroom to the abbot's cane hitting the camera on the way down the aisle. Also the scene where they pull out the scripts to see that Robin gets another shot at the archery tournament. Also Broomhilda's horse actually whinnying out dialogue. One thing I have to mention in this movie, of course, is Dave Chappelle's character, Achu. I think that this was actually one of his uh, first movies, but he he owned the part of Achu. Did such a brilliant job with the humor. Uh, you could tell that he fit right in. I uh, just played it up so well. One thing that can't go overlooked, of course, is the musical numbers in this film. We're men, we're men in tights. I could gush about this movie for hours and hours. I absolutely love it. I still love it to this day. I was still laughing out loud at this movie. I couldn't even stop myself from doing so. And I was questioning why I had not watched it in so, so long. I don't have any complaints about this movie. I will, you know, give it as many stars or thumbs up or anything that I can because it's just an amazing movie. Um, it's 
does actually harken back to a lot of Mel Brooks' work, uh, where, of course, this is where he's comfortable. He's comfortable in parody satire. I also do have to say that Tracy Ullman as Latrine was absolutely wonderful. She has the perfect humor for Mel Brooks' films. The entire cast has the perfect humor for Mel Brooks' films. Really, really quick, uh, very sarcastic, quippy, just, it's perfect. It's perfect. I would definitely recommend this movie to absolutely anybody. Uh, you, of course, if you're a big fan of Mel Brooks, you've probably already seen it, but definitely watch it again because it is wonderful. Uh, I laughed out loud so much, and I'm sure you will as well. I don't have a favorite Mel Brooks film. I honestly don't. I honestly don't. I love his work. I just love all of his work, but this would be towards the top ish of it. I would probably watch this one more than the other ones just because I watched it so much as a child. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the movie. Uh, thank you to Meg for choosing Robin Hood Men in Tights. This movie review was for the SourceFed Movie Club. You can search the hashtag SFMC Robin Hood if you wanted to see the other reviewers for this movie. SourceFed Movie Club comes out on Saturdays. They do actually uh, put reviewers in their videos. If you wanted to actually check out past episodes or any other content that they have, you can click the link in the description down below. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like down in the comments, please tell me your favorite Mel Brooks film, as well as any lines or jokes that you like from those films. I thank you very much for coming along with me for this. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Oh, my crown's not on straight. I have a mole.